Hello and welcome everybody, this is your host, Leerbach, and you're just in time for more Undertale. In the last episode, we made our way through a little bit further, and in this episode, we're going to continue onwards. Um, now, one thing I want to mention, remember way, way, way back at the beginning of the, other, of the last play when I said to uh, buy one of these? They're going to come in fairly handy. Uh... Right up here. One of them at least. Um, right here we have some spider webs. <laughs> Did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I know a few that are like that. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. Those are usually the ones that you want to watch out for. I heard that they're awfully stingy with their money. <laughs> Think your taste is too refined for our pastry, don't you, dearie? When you charge 9,999 gold, how do you expect anyone to buy them? <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Everyone, meet Muffet. The purple spider who has all oh, the Rule 34 drawn of her. Wish I was joking, folks. Actively trying to avoid this stuff and I still find it. A lot of it, oddly enough, is very well drawn. I will give I will give them that. So... If we pay her money, her t her, her tax will actually be slow uh, slowed down. But we'll go ahead and check first. Tax zero, defense eight. As she invites you to her parlor, excuse yourself. Don't look so blue, dearie. And this is the gimmick with her fight. Can only move along the lines. Kind of like a music note. I think purple is a bad look on you. <laughs> The spiders will tell us what's coming up next. That's kind of your cue to figure out what the attack pattern is. Trapped in a strange purple web. If we struggle, Muffet covers her mouth and giggles at you. Why so pale? You should be proud. So yeah, uh, the spider-looking ones always attack in pairs of two. I believe. Pours you a cup of spiders. It's if we pay 10G, the attack will slow down. We'll save that for a little bit later. Um, now, I mentioned before that you ha if you had the spider donut or, or the spider cider from earlier, uh, it makes this fight super easy. I'm not going to use it right away, because um, I do want to just kind of do this normally. Um, but I will say this. If you don't have the spider cider, it's just a matter of endurance. You just have to last long enough. The part that you're going to proud that you're going to make a delicious cake. <laughs> yeah, like I said, they always attack in pairs of two, but not in the same, uh, not in the same branch all the time. I think. I could be wrong with that. Smells like freshly baked cobwebs. Hmm. I'm kind of curious to what that would smell like. Can't run. I'm trying to spare. Let you go. Don't be silly. So yeah, I'm, this is probably going to be really quiet as I, focus up, as I try to focus stuff. So we've got a donut coming up next. Oh, spiders clap along in music. This is another song that gets... Uh, this is another thing. This song actually gets a lot of remixes. And if you listen closely, it actually sounds a lot like, uh, du like uh, the Dummy song. Um, this one, I actually uh, heard... I've actually heard uh, quite a few versions of Undertale songs with lyrics in them. This is the one I have not heard a bad version of the song with lyrics. Like, even the worst one I saw, I'm not going to mention names, I don't want to pick on the guy, because the guy's not a bad sing like, the guy's not a bad singer, it's just like, the way he's, like, he doesn't link up, like, he doesn't link up his, his he doesn't sync up his vocals to the music, so it just kind of sounds like he's just kind of singing and then just playing the music in the background. Um, for those of you who know who that is, Clap your hand, but most people tend to like it. Like it, I'm like, I just like, 
I'm a bit of a music snob. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that might be my fault. Um, but up next, we got a spider and a spider donut. This soul is going to make every spider very happy. Ah! So, yeah, the donut's uh, arc. Up next is a muffin. A muppet. Mu muffin! I'm sorry. <laughs> I said a Muppet, then I said a Muppet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have a Muppet. Come with the frog here. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Are there, there are spiders. In, there are spider Muppets, aren't there? Oh, how rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. Oh, I think the Muffin is the, is the pet. Um, I think. Yes, yes. Um... Basically, you guys, it's, it's a climb. This might be better with a D-pad. Um, yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little easier with a D-pad. Okay, so I basically showed you everything, and this only gets harder from here. Now, what you want to do when you uh, see the muffin, you want to pair the 10G. It goes up every time, so it's 10G right now. I think it goes up to 20, then, or it might go up to 100. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't remember what the exchange rate is. We want to do that on the muffin so you can save up your money because everything else is fairly easy to do. Now, for something I never did because I didn't save the money before, I'm going to go ahead and. If you, I think if you eat one of these in front of her, it ends the battle. So go ahead and start with the cider. Drink the spider cider, your HP is maxed out. Huh? Where'd you get that? Did you steal it? Oh, my pet. It's time to show them what we do with thieves. And then, no matter what, at the end of the game, at the end of the battle, this will pop up regardless. Um, so yeah, if you let... Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins? But they're, what? They're saying they saw you and... You were really passionate about spiders? Oh my, this is all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul. You must have been a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> I think I did that laugh a little too well. Make it up to you. You can go back here anytime and if you're not tried at all, I'll, I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll spare you now. So yeah. <laughs> that was fun. See you again, theory. Uh, interesting, interesting fact, uh, Muffet was a, a Kickstarter character. Um, she was like one of the like when this game was being kickstarted, she's like, "If you make this much money, we'll include her in the game." I'm not, I'm not sure how. I, I, I never saw the Kickstarter page, but I just know, just from like you know the stuff I, I see. It's just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm being distracted. I'm, my mind's. Uh, I, th I think there's something that in that in the inner Venom Man. Go. <laughs> um, a tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. It's like it's almost time for the performance. Hmm. I want, I want you guys to know something real quick before we go any further. I never played Final Fantasy VI or Final Fantasy III if you want to get technical. I guess I guess it would be the other way around. Um, if you want to get nitpicky about people naming things, it's Final Fantasy III in America originally, then it got changed to Final Fantasy VI because that's what it was in Japan. Some people are touchy about that, I know. I know, right? People are touchy about an, an arbitrary topic on the internet. But I've never seen Final Fantasy VI. I do know of the scene that we're about to see here. Um, and even not playing Final Fantasy VI, I completely got, I completely understood it, and it felt right for some reason. It felt like the right thing as far as parody goes. <coughs> but anyway, so we got a... Clearly from the post, we got a... Oh! That human! <laughs> Surprise! Could it be? <laughs> my one true love! I'm gonna do my best to try to sing along with this. I'm not gonna do a good job at all. <laughs> this is beautiful music, by the way. Oh, my love. 
Please run away. Monster King. Forbid your stay. Humans must live far apart. Even if it breaks my heart, they'll put you in the dungeon. It'll suck, and then you'll die a lot. Really sad, you're gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. So sad it's happening. I'm trying not to laugh. I was trying so hard not to laugh during that scene. <laughs> The dialogue, oh my gosh. I hope I did it justice. I know I'm I know I'm a bit tone deaf. I tried. I really tried hard. <coughs> you can probably hear my voice changing towards towards it trying to get a little softer, but mm. So sad. So sad that you're going to the dungeon. <laughs> well toodles. Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly my par my paramour will surely perish. Paramour? That seriously another word for love wow. Huh. I'm gonna have to look up what, what the actual definition of paramour is. I, I, that's something I do whenever I hear words I've heard all my life. It's like and I, and I hear it in a different way, it's like, oh, what does it actually mean? Would it fit? Oh, heavens have mercy! A horrible colored tile maze! Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right! You remember all the rules, don't you? Great! Then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... You'll be incinerated by those jets of fire. It is possible to beat this. I've seen, I've seen one guy do it. <laughs> My poor love, I'm so filled with grief. I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. All right. Oh crud. Really? Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. <laughs> Here come the flames, darling. Uh, one more thing I want to mention real quick. Uh, you, like I said, you can pass this. Um, I don't. I just don't know the pattern. Um. Because you hit green tiles, you still, you still, uh, you still have to, you still in the blazing. They're closing in. Getting closer. Oh my! Any minute now. <coughs> cough. I'm trying, my dad's my best for a cough. Watch out! I'll save you! I'm hacking the firewall right now! She bypassed the firewall. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh no! How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Doctor Alfie's. The that's right. Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle over. Alfie's darling. What are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, but then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me! Yo, you yo, nothing happened. This is it, darling, say goodbye! 
Is that your phone? You better answer it. Huh, I'll consider it. Hey, this is this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. Phone's <laughs> act menu is glowing. Yellow. Okay. Let me see, is that actually no it's not actually glowing, okay. Press the yellow button. Phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. <laughs> now press Z! Or X in this case, or A in this case. Well, people were complaining about this being too much like a shoot 'em up, now it is! Oh! Oh! You defeated me! How can this be? You are stronger than I thought, etc. Whatever! <laughs> well, it looks like you beat him! You did a really great job out there! Uh, all things. Uh, all thanks to you. Well, what? Oh no, I mean... <laughs> you're the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but... Can I tell you something? But before I met you, I didn't, didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do anything, anything with that without without ending up letting everyone down. But guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So, thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to, to the core. It's just past my... It's just past MTT Resort. Come on. Let's finish this. So, yeah. Um... By the way, I apologize for the uh, inconsistencies of the voice for Metaton. I keep keep trying to go go in and out of this kind of game show host and robot. I'm trying to find this kind of balance to it. Um, hey, there's two guards from before. Oh, hey, we're like taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? Ah, uh, somehow I don't think she'd mind. He seems happy. <laughs> They seem, they seem good for each other. Hey, it's you again. This is excellent here. Those two flowers bought all my ice cream. I actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Uh, okay, whatever. So, I think we go over here. Is this a shortcut? Yeah, it takes us back to the stage. Um, I believe this might be a shortcut then. Yeah. And here got Heat's Flames Man again. Hey! Hey! Do you remember my name? Did you? Yes. What? You remember? How can I be so easily defeated? So we can use this to go back to, uh... Go back downstairs. We're not gonna do that quite yet. We are at MTT Resort. Hey, go up the creepy alleyway to the right for some great deals. Oh, oh don't mind if I do. <laughs> what does it say? Oh, oh we can't read it. Okay. <laughs> hey, check it out! Yeah, check it out! Uh, forget these, forget their names. So, like, what's up? I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend, Caddy. I'm Carrie, and this is my best friend, Braddy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the stuff inside is like totally wicked expensive, but like this stuff we found is like totally wicked cheap. You should like, like, totally wicked buy all of it. <laughs> what are the origin? Oh, let me. Uh. Empty gun and a cowboy hat. And a mystery key. I'm gonna buy the mystery key. Brady, we're gonna be rich! We're all sold up, meow! Oh! <laughs> the big bite of the junk food has a big bite out of it. Um, we're not gonna be getting the uh, gun or the cowboy hat. Um, Primarily because they're not going to be very useful to us from what we have right now. But again, keep in mind with the equipment. Um, let's 
go back and talk to them. What's the origin of your wares? I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or... We found it in the garbage! It's good garbage. It's like, really good garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store. Duh! <laughs> Waterfall, mostly. I found a gun in a dumpster. Well, there's that, uh, that junkyard in, in, or I guess underneath Waterfall. Oh my god, Metaton! He's like, my robot husband! Actually, he's like, my robot husband! <laughs> I think we're like, we're both, like, already married to him! <laughs> he just, like, doesn't know it yet! <laughs> wow. Yeah, fangirls. And Valley Girls at that. So, like, Dr. Alfie's built medicine, right? That's, like, what they tell you. But, like, medicine always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was his old friend. But they're, like, they're, like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever! Actually, Mark started thinking about Bra uh, Caddy kind of looks a bit like Amethyst from Steven Universe. Kind of like that same kind of general build, and the, to be fair, the purple coloring kind of. <laughs> Seriously, all we need is a, is, a, is a little Amethyst gem on her chest. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably believe that she, she, was a, she was Amethyst pretending to be a monster. <laughs> Old? Okay, that's weird. That... About Alphys. Oh my god, Alphys! She used to live on our street. She's like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on a trip to the dump, she shows the coolest place to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the real scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever! So, it's, so Alphys is like, always like, thought Asgore is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul? That's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. <laughs> Excuse me? So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She was, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, Live a little girl. Yeah, like us! Hmm. This is going on for a little bit longer than I thought it would. I probably should have saved this for the beginning of the next episode. Oh my god, he's a total goober. He's a big fun goofball. Like, I love that guy. He's like so nice. God, we're like so hyped for the destruction of humanity! I don't know how I feel about that. Bye. See you later. Okay, so I think um, I'm gonna go. In, yeah, I'm gonna have to go in here and say real quick. Um, the last answer is this hotel. Josie with determination.